Hi, I'm Matthew Barrett and I'm here with Jared Wilson. Jared is the managing editor of the For the Church website, which is designed to help pastors in the midst of ministry. Jared, in the midst of ministry, there are a lot of responsibilities on a pastor's plate. And uh, sometimes it can be really difficult to find time to not just read, but to uh, pick up some of those days in seminary where you're reading theology. Yeah. And uh, if, if a pastor doesn't read theology, well, there can be consequences. Um, if you were to recommend maybe just one book from uh, the history of the church, which one would you recommend and why is it so important for pastors today? Yeah, well, I think to answer the second part, first, the reason I picked this particular book um, is because I think it, it addresses the disconnect that many pastors um, have between theology or what they think of as theology or academic work um, and what they think is useful or at least um, you know, able to be stewarded towards their uh, pastoral role or just their personal spirituality. So you know, the book, uh, the theological book, to use that category, that has impacted me the most would be Augustine's Confessions. And the reason why I love it so much, I'm on my third reading right now, um, and this time around reading uh, a 19th century translation. Uh, so it's got you know some of that that the you know the these and thous in there, and and so it has a, a sense of poetry that you know that makes me pay more yeah. attention to it. But the first time I read it, I was struck by a couple of things. Um, you know, you know, going in knowing, okay, this is a theological work or what mm -hmm. have you, and autobiographical to some extent. I was struck. Um, by how um, how real, how gritty it is in terms of um, you know Augustine connecting all of these you know deep theological um, issues, the thing you know sovereignty of God and, and creation and, and all these sorts of things, to just the reality of his own sin, uh, of his own neediness, um, and so it connected with me on a personal level. But then you have really sort of the devotional aspect. I was struck by how worshipful it was how it, it reads like poetry in yeah. so many places, like the Psalms in so many places. And so um, I you know, recommend that book uh, in particular, but a lot of other good um, historical uh, works in the category because typically the older the book is, the more it has that sort of devotional sense. Mm. I, don't, I don't think, I think our, our forefathers in the faith, they had less trouble um, connecting um, theology to yeah. doxology. Mm. And that's something that Augustine does extremely well and why that book has really um, helped me and um, helped me um, in my stirring of affections for Christ.